I am excited to introduce Divi Canvases for Divi 5. A canvas is a workspace detached from your main post content. You can use them as staging areas for design updates, a place to store and organize off-canvas components, or simply as a safe space to experiment with new ideas. You can create global canvases to build website-level off-canvas menus and pop-ups, as well as local canvases for specific posts. Let me show you how it works. You'll notice a new canvas drop-down menu at the top of the builder. You can use this to switch between canvases or add a new canvas. You can make canvases global to make them accessible from any page or template, and you can choose to automatically append canvases to your post content on the front end. Once inside a canvas, you can work freely within the detached workspace. Click the canvas grid view to get a visual view of all your canvases and switch between them. You can right click to edit, duplicate, export, and delete. You can also assign any canvas as the main canvas for that page. It's a nice way to work on and set live different page variations without having to go to your library. A great way to use canvases is to store off-canvas components, such as pop-ups and menus, making them reusable and out of your way. That's because we updated the Interaction Builder to work with off-canvas elements. For example, you can create an interaction on your main canvas that targets an off-canvas pop-up. Canvases targeted by interactions are automatically appended to the main canvas on the front end, but kept out of your way in the builder. In this example, I created global menu and pop-up canvases that store hidden sections, which I animated using Divi's animation settings. I added a click-based interaction to this icon in my header to toggle the main section in the menu canvas, and I added a viewport interaction to this section to toggle the pop-up. On the front end, clicking the menu icon toggles the menu and scrolling down the page toggles my pop-up. We also introduced a new module called the Canvas Portal, which can be used to inject Canvas content into particular areas on your page. For example, I created an off-canvas mega menu that is toggled when I hover over an anchor link in my header using Divi's Interaction Builder. Since I want the mega menu to be positioned relative to the link, I used a canvas portal to inject the content inside the text module, which is easy thanks to Divi 5's nested elements. Divi's off-canvas system is incredibly versatile, giving you more freedom than other builders to use canvases in unique ways. It's available for Divi 5 today, so give it a try and let us know your thoughts. We rebuilt Divi from the ground up and packed it full of dozens of your most requested features. Forget everything you thought you knew about Divi because Divi 5 is an entirely different beast. In case you missed it, we recently released stacked and nested presets for Divi 5. It's an incredibly powerful upgrade that makes Divi's preset-based design system simply the best. You can stack multiple presets on any element and nest group presets inside element presets. There's a link in the video description to learn more. Thanks for watching and before you go, I have one favor to ask. If you are a Divi user, please consider subscribing to this channel. It only takes one click. If you are already subscribed, be sure to click the bell icon to receive notifications when we release a new video. These videos are the best way to keep up to date on the latest and greatest Divi features, and they're the perfect way to get up to speed before updating your websites. Thanks, and I'll see you soon for another Divi 5 feature announcement, which I promise is right around the corner.